What is up guys? Today we're here in Vancouver. A lot has happened in the last week. A lot has happened in the last 24 hours and it's made me very hungry. But let me update you guys on what I'm doing here in Vancouver. A lot of you guys know that I'm going to Germany. I actually should be in Germany a few hours ago, so I should have already been there. But unfortunately, my flight was canceled. A lot of chaos happened. They put me in a hotel yesterday that was actually a very nice hotel in Seattle, but they never rebooked my flight. I had to do that myself, so I did. And the agreement was they would put me on a flight from here in Vancouver, so I'm here for the night. I was gonna look for a challenge. I actually found a few challenges, but unfortunately, they are so far from here. I figured maybe I can take an Uber. They don't have Uber here. And if it was a taxi, the taxi is gonna cost around $80 to get to my destination. And that's one way. I gotta pay another $80 on the way back. So next best thing is they literally have a Denny's on the bottom of this hotel. I can walk out the door and a Denny's is on the side. I already went out there, I peeped it out. They have a totally different menu than the one in America. And I don't think I've ever done Denny's on any video. So today is gonna be the first Denny's challenge I've ever done. So we're gonna go pick up the food downstairs. I'm gonna bring you guys with me. I've already actually made the order. It's been about 25 minutes. Let's go pick up the food. Oh, and since we're here, I guess I'll give you guys a little hotel tour. I guess that's the customary thing to do for YouTubers. So I'm gonna do it. I think it's gonna be my first one too. In front of me, I have a little balcony and we got a pool. It's too cold here in Vancouver, so no pool. I actually was not expecting it to be cold. So I had to pick up a pair of sweatpants on this trip and we have a little arrangement i moved this from the wall because this is going to be my platform to eat i moved this light as well i moved this light as well i'm happy at least the lights are white and not yellow i have this nice little seat i'm going to be using this nice seat this is actually a really comfortable seat we have a nice lg tv we have a little storage case a little gorilla pod my little luggage bathroom and that's about it. All right, so that was my room tour. Now it's time, let's go get the food. I really hope nobody that works at this hotel sees this video. You know, some hotels are strict. I don't wanna get in trouble for moving stuff around. But let me show you how close Denny's is. I just walked out my door, down the stairs. Here's the exit. A few steps. And then, bada bing. Denny's is right here, literally. And I don't think it could get any better than that. I'm happy to eat. All right, so we managed to get all three. Half of my drink spilled in the bag. Here's our three giant bags. But I need to close this because I'm creeped out. I don't want people staring at me. Oh, if only you guys can smell this. They need to create an app where you can smell what's going on through YouTube. Pop this off in for good. This is a Tuscan chicken sandwich. Oh my goodness. Here, let me, ah, there's pickles on it. Sorry for complaining. Tell me how good this looks. This is, look at that cheddar cheese bun. This is an egg Benedict. Hash browns, eggs, and sausage because we're in Canada. This is poutine. We have some pancakes. We have some more pancakes. And lastly, we have dolce de leche pancakes. That burnt sugar taste. And that's everything. Let's go ahead and set up and uh, get this Denny's Canada challenge started. For the record, this food cost me $84. $84 for all this food. That's with tax and everything. It better be worth the $84. Well, actually any food right now is worth $84. So three, two, one, go. I don't have my timer. I'm not gonna put a timer because I have nowhere to put it. Right here, we have the poutine. It's warm still, I'm happy. Okay, some of you guys that are really Canadian might say this isn't real poutine. I don't know, um, but it doesn't taste like anything I've had before. It's little potato wedgies, fries, and the cheese, there's curds in it too, but the cheese kind of tastes like, like mashed potato-ish. Okay, it has a gravy taste to it. I, I like this stuff. I also got two waters, put these over there because I am definitely going to use all of it. I've never had dolce de leche. I think I'm saying that correctly. Dolce de leche pancakes. They take a little nibble. You guys saw that. And all I can say was wow. Oh my goodness. This might be one of the best pancakes I've ever had in my life. It doesn't look, really look that presentable, but it's not really about the presentation, it's about the taste. Mm, some people might be presentation. If it's on Instagram, all I can say is wow. 
It's the texture. I just love that little crunch. You can probably hear it. I love crunchy stuff. That's why with foods just a little tad burnt. I love that. Okay, I gotta give you guys like a close up on this. Oh, no, 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 no. That is pure beauty. I wanna try this. Salted caramel and banana pancakes. I can say the first two that I had, did I have two already? What did I have? The dolce de leche was amazing. I'll give it a seven out of 10. Honestly, I feel so much better right now. Everything has been amazing. Next, we're gonna go with Bourbon Burger. We're gonna go with the Bourbon Burger. Oh, shout out to Nitten, subscriber that I ran into at the other hotel that I was at earlier. It was dope meeting you. I just wanna say I appreciate you guys coming up and saying what's up. Thank you for the support and just thank you guys for watching. Warm, still warm. Mwah. This is fire. It has the perfect amount of barbecue sauce on it. It's not overly done. Oh, that burger. I split up the fries. The Eggs Benedict didn't have anything, so I just, it was so much fries, I just split up to three. I only got one burger this time. I, I was i was contemplating on getting a few burgers because they have a, they have some pretty good stuff on that menu. I already spent like 80 something dollars and I gotta be able to eat this off. This is a grilled chicken Tuscan. A cheese, lettuce, tomatoes, onions. It looks like maybe a chili sauce. Here we go. Okay, so here's the thing with chicken sandwiches. If you don't have a soft bun, it's just a very dry sandwich. I can't really taste any of the stuff on top of it. It's like non-existent and the bread is a bit stale. I don't want to complain, but I'm just being honest with you guys. It's a bit stale. It's not bad, but it definitely could be better. Long story short, I think I'd rather go with a burger than a chicken sandwich. Okay, we're on the eggs benedict 23 minutes in it took me 23 minutes to eat that much food already this isn't a race quenching my hunger that doesn't make sense feeding my hunger i don't know if i've ever had eggs benedict i don't think i have any yolk came out can't i can't really see no yolk came out it's on a muffin yeah the uh, yolk is it's mildly done I do love this. I love this. I don't know why I've never had this. You ever notice that these ketchup packets only give you like one serving? I mean, that's one serving. That right there is a whole ketchup package. Pretty much. Well done. Okay, we're almost there. I think I want to do the pancakes first. Oh, oh I'm definitely feeling it right now. Okay. I think I should have just ate this one a long time ago. Oh, wow. Wow. That topping is, whoa. That topping is so damn tasty. I wonder what the neighbors, if they can hear me, think. Cause I'm kind of like screaming. Like, what is that guy doing? I just wanted to point out something. The difference between IHOP and Denny's. I don't know if it's just the Denny's here, but Denny's, if you can see under the pancake, it has topping on top of it and under it, it has topping, ugh, get it. And under it, it also has topping. IHOP never does that. IHOP, you need to take notes.
Okay, here's the last piece. I'm not eating those fries by the way. I'm really full. I'm not practiced at all for like capacity eating. This took me 45 minutes to eat, which is a terrible time. I have the time on the monitor. But like I said, I wasn't trying to rush myself. This is more just about feeding my hunger. That's it. Okay, so that's the first for me, doing a video inside of a hotel, hotel room. And it wasn't that bad, although I do like my own lighting. But it's okay to work with what you got. Just gotta rearrange the room and kind of put it all together back to the way it was, and hopefully you don't get charged for it. But for the most part, I think everything worked out fine. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. Tomorrow I should be on my way to Germany, but you never know, maybe my flight might get canceled. Let's hope not. Thank you guys for watching as always. I love you guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Please. Oh no, don't spill. Okay. All right. We're good. Dang it. I spilled my drink. Gosh darn it.